Alrighty, guys. Uh, it's me, Taxus234. I'm back. And, uh, on one of my videos, uh, more specifically my gunshot mobile flash test, I, uh, got a request in one of the comments to make a tutorial on how to do this muzzle flash. And, uh, I said, why not? So, yeah. This is a tutorial on how to make a gunshot muzzle flash in Windows Live Movie Maker. <clears throat> Pretty easy. I have to say. So the first thing we want to do is go to uh, Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, I have this set up. First thing you want to do is click on Add Videos and Photos and click whatever your video you want that has the thing in it. For me, I have this. I've already added it. Now, click Play. Now, wait for the. Now, a few seconds before it starts. And then, you click on the Next Frame button, which is right here. Now, you want to go to the frame right when it pulls the trigger and when it's about to have the recoil. So, right about there. Now, what we want to do is click on Snapshot. And what this does is it takes a snapshot of the frozen frame you've just created. You click on Snapshot, save it as whatever name, you know, blah, I don't know. And now I already have one saved, so I'm not going to get another copy of it. So now I'll minimize this. You're gonna to want to go to something I have called Paint.net. Now I love this software because it's easy to download. It's free. It's not malicious. No viruses. If it did, then I probably wouldn't be using it. So yeah, I'll put a link down below on what website to download it from. And yeah, so we're going to go onto Paint.net. So now what we want to do is get that thing we just got that frozen frame now we have this picture right okay right when it's pulled the trigger now what you want to do is go on google images type in muzzle flash and go to which is i think the first one you want to um here let's go back and make this here the first one click on it now you want to right click on this and say copy image. Click on that. Close this. Do whatever you want with it. Now with this, you want to click on edit in paint.net and click on paste into new layer. Now what you want to do now is keep canvas size. If you do expand canvas, that's not it. Okay. Just do that. Now you should see something like this. That's perfectly okay. Don't think it's like wrong or anything because it's too big. Now what we want to do is resize this, yeah, something like that. Uh, probably go on a bigger. Okay, that looks about good. And now we want to click on this, the magic wand shortcut S key. Now what we want to do is click on right click now on your keyboard you type in or you click delete wait no haha <laughs> sorry about that you wanna click on erase no ah oh, crap uh, sorry about that it's a little shady in my mind I haven't done this in a while so you click on magic wand now what you wanna do is erase selection go to edit and click on erase selection now what we have is just this perfectly nice gunshot muzzle flare. Now, what have I done wrong here? It's not in the correct place, right? Exactly. So what we want to do, and I, this is on purpose. This is on purpose. I shouldn't say that. So now, what we want to do? Oh, that's all right. <laughs> wrong button there. Wrong button there. Okay. Now, what we want to do? I'm going to undo this. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to do this fast. I keep clicking on the wrong buttons. Now, what I want to do is move this to about where the gunshot muzzle flash is. Like the line where the back of the muzzle flash meets the black. That should be where it is at the tip. That's about right there. Yeah, just want to make sure I don't want to get this wrong. So now, click on the magic wand. And click here where the black is. Anywhere on the black is fine. 
You should see a little line around the muzzle flash. That's perfectly fine. That's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> now you want to go on. Go to edit. Now scroll down until you find erase selection. Click on that. Now we have a gunshot in front of the gun. Now you can't see the very end of it because it's uh, getting cut off. But it will show the full muzzle flash in your video or whatever you're doing. So now what we want to do is save this. Save as. Uh, whatever you want to save it as. Now, back to Movie Maker. Now, hopefully you haven't moved it so it's still here. Go to um, Video Tools. It's going to be a little yellow bar. Click on Split. So now you have two videos. It's the same video, it's just split. Now, what you want to do is click on Add Videos or Photos and go into whatever folder you just did. Now I'm going to go to recent places. And, um, well, that's not right. Ooh, that's not right. <laughs> Alrighty. Three, two, three, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so now we're going to do. Um, you gotta look for your thing you just saved. Probably in my video, as I think. Wait, no, yeah, I know where it is. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Now, we just go to this. And. No, oh, what the heck? Okay, I can't find it. Why is this. Sorry, it's a little shady, I told you, okay. Just a little bit shady. Go back to paint.net, see what directory I saved it in. Save, oh, 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 <laughs> save to libraries pictures, okay, so libraries, oh yes, ah, my gosh, why was I searching in videos, I'm so dumb, okay, so you just want to look for the thing you just saved, with the muzzle flash inside it, now, let's see, where is it, is it at the bottom? Alright, whatever. We'll just go down to, uh, let's see. This one, yeah. So now, see, we have the one with the muzzle flash. I'm sorry, little oh, small, this is my first one. I couldn't find the one I just made, so I just went with this one. So now, since we've put this in, I'm gonna click on it, so there's a little blue border around the, uh, muzzle flash picture. We go to, um, video tools and type in I mean look for duration now by default it should be 7.00 click on the little arrow change it delete all that change it to 0 0.04 or just 0 0.04 now save as 0 0.04 now we're going to restart this and see how it looks see now it's good the last thing we want to do, now you don't have to do this, this is optional, is go to add music. Now we go to add music at current point and add a gunshot effect. We got to have a gunshot effect. So I have this gunshot effect. It's a bare 50 cal sniper gunshot effect, but it's the only gunshot effect I have. So I guess it's good enough. So, well, okay, see, that's a little late. What we want to do now is we want to move this over a little bit back. See how that looks. See, it's still a little late, so we'll move this back a little bit more. You know, see, it's a little too early. Yeah, I'm not so I'm not being very precise with this. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, that should be close enough, I think. Yeah, there we go. So, there we go. That's a gunshot effect in Windows Live Movie Maker on Paint.net. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. You know, yeah, do whatever you want. 
whatever floats your boat. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a weird saying. Alright, well, uh, thanks guys. And I'll see you later. Bye.